So we're currently sitting at our project Alta, and today I want to talk about what we do as a company and specifically what we're looking for in a trade partner when it comes to finished stucco details that helps to create the modern clean line approach that we're looking for in our design. Let's get to it. So by far the most critical step of stucco is going to be the foundational elements and that's really going to revolve around our foam and lath details but specifically around our metal edging. One of the benefits that we see in Arizona from doing a stucco finish is providing additional R value when it comes to creating proper insulation here in the desert. By integrating either a one to two inch foam detail behind our stucco masonry finish, it's like wrapping our house in an insulated ice chest box. So as mentioned a second ago, this is a foundational piece that needs to be done right in order to ensure a smooth finish at completion. So while the first step creates some insulation value and is obviously critical for a smooth finish, by far the most important detail to get accurate on a custom home is gonna be our weep screen detail and the finish corners of any of the metal detailing that really will make or break the minimalistic look that we're going for on this Aussie Modern. So what exactly do I mean by this detail? In many builds, the metal detailing is done hastily in a nature that isn't completely square, which creates a flared out corner when the finish level is completed. For any of you that have walked a tract home community, you'll realize that on any stuccoed columns, maybe a 12 by 12 or 18 by 18 inch column, you'll see at the bottom, essentially what would be similar to a flared pant leg, which is definitely making a comeback for any of our women followers that happen to be watching this video today. Overall, it's a critical detail that we want to be able to create a flush, clean line termination point that provides a clean transition to our stem wall or any of the paver details that'll be associated with our patios that surround this home. The second most pertinent item when it comes to a proper weep screen detail is its flushness to the stem wall. About eight years ago on our third complete spec that we built, we were called out by a third party inspector for a gap that existed that actually allowed you to be able to feel the mud seal or the seal plate that ultimately would have created an issue with potential pest intrusion. And by flushing the metal detail to the stem wall, it allows us to be able to create a great termination point coupled with the caulking detail that takes place on the interior portion of that seal plate, which allows to minimize any pest intrusion, which could potentially take place over the next couple decades as this house resides in its place. So the fourth detail that's definitely gonna make or break your project is yet another metal detail option. And in this particular case, we have a control joint. This is not only for aesthetics, but it's also to help with future warranty and cracking that is almost inevitable with any masonry application or product such as stucco. In this instance, we opted to go for a wider control joint, which helps to accent some clean lines and also helps to prevent cracking from any house settling or shrinkage of the lumber that's utilized within 90% of construction here in the valley. By having this control joint, the most likely area that this stucco would have an opportunity to crack would be at the control joint and even if there was an extreme situation where we got some cracking in this panel, we would only have to re-finish coat whatever exists between this control joint and in this case, the control joint that's sitting just to the south of me on this large picture window. The last item that we're gonna be looking for when it comes to prep work is making sure that we have a sloped angle at any of the window openings that will allow for proper drainage for any of the monsoons that we'll experience that will allow for water to properly drain from the window seal, in this case to our outdoor terrace, and then over to our roof drains, and then away from the property as indicated in the grading and drainage plan. For those of you that don't know, we build in Arizona and it's hot. Now we're lucky in this application to be able to take care of stucco in the fall, but one of the key areas that allow to minimize cracking is to make sure that we slow down the curing process, especially when there's hot weather for any masonry finish. 
And to be able to accomplish this task once complete, so we wanna make sure that at the completion of our brown coat that we spend some time wetting down the overall stucco finish so that it will slow down the curing process and help to reduce the amount of cracking that would take place in this hotter climate. So for today, we've covered most of the things that we're looking for in the overall preparation and brown coat that's required for our stucco finish here in the valley and on our modern builds. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or DM us in the comments below. And we can't wait to show you the finished product as we look to create some final content once this step of the project comes to completion. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. And as always, have a great day.